Well, happening now, the Democratic National Convention getting underway, and we are in Philadelphia to cover it. Channel 2's Craig Lucy is live at the Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia. And Craig, now there's more fallout following the release of hacked DNC emails showing the DNC favored Hillary Clinton and pushed her over Bernie Sanders. Carol and Justin, yes, it started out with a scandal. Debbie Wasserman Schwartz will no longer be gaveling in this convention. According to the preliminary schedule, it was supposed to get underway at 3 o'clock inside the Wells Fargo Center. Now it's been pushed back to 4.30. Today we spent a lot of time tracking down some of these Georgia delegates, and at least one of them told us that he doesn't think that these Bernie Sanders supporters will vote for Hillary Clinton. Florida delegates greeted Democratic National Convention Chairwoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz by chanting shame over and over again. We spotted Wasserman Schultz on the DNC stage as they made last minute preparations and tried to move past the WikiLeaks email scandal. It just confirms what a lot of Sanders delegates have been saying and feeling for quite some time. Khalid Camus is a Bernie Sanders delegate from College Park and says after emails showed the DNC was partial toward Hillary Clinton, he doesn't think she can win come November. And I cannot get our delegates or the many voters uh, that support him. They're not going to support Hillary Clinton. I think he was dealt a bad deal. Atlanta I resident and Bernie Sanders delegate Rashawn Jones told Channel 2 Action News that she will try and unify the party while here in Philadelphia. To absolutely support Hillary Clinton at this point and ask for his supporters to do the same. We also caught up with Atlanta City Councilman Kwanzaa Hall. He's a Hillary Clinton delegate and is a member of the National Finance Committee, which has been raising money to get Clinton elected. He told me Debbie Wasserman Schultz made the right decision by agreeing to resign when the convention comes to a close Thursday. When you're a team player, you recognize that it's when to hold, when to fold, and when to walk away, when to run. And these Bernie Sanders supporters were marching through the streets of downtown Philadelphia, trying to make their way right over here to the Wells Fargo Center. They were holding signs that said, quit stealing our elections. Also today, we spoke to the youngest Georgia delegate. Hear how he says that millennials will be getting involved in this big election coming up on Channel 2 Action News at 5. We are live at the Democratic National Convention here in Philadelphia. Craig Lucy, Channel 2 Action News. And how about Kwanzaa Hall? I mean, quoting Kenny Rogers, right? No one to hold him or no one to fold him, no one to walk him. I know. That's Kenny Rogers, Craig. <laughs> See you soon. Right, we talked about that earlier, Justin. It was funny. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you.